Now I would like to invite Dr. Naeem Mengel, who is the Assistant Professor and International Cardiologist at NICVD. Please put your hands together for Dr. Naeem Mengel. Thank you. Uh, I am Dr. Naeem, as uh, she introduced. I am thankful to the Zafa. And, uh, it's a great honor and opportunity to come here in front of you people. Uh, my presentation will be a bit different from the uh, rest of the presentations uh, that were given earlier by my senior colleagues. My, my presentation is uh, basically on uh, certain uh, uh, our, uh, clinical uh, uh, tests and uh, an assessment of certain patients and our study that we did in our hospital. There's a tertiary care hospital and acid nation of cardiovascular diseases, uh, which you know is the largest hospital uh, within the country regarding the cardiovascular issues. My principal investigator is Professor uh, Tariq Ashraf, uh, who is not present at this time. And I'm presenting this uh, um, uh, clinical trial in front of you on his behalf. So the main objective of this study was to uh, assess the uh, risk factors of uh, atherosclerosis in our Pakistani population. As uh, Dr. Fawad Farooq discussed earlier, that the uh, risk factors in a patient who is with the coronary artery disease are the patients who will have heart attack. These are multiple. And uh, one of the uh, risk factors, as Dr. Fawad Farooq discussed earlier, hypertension. And what else? Uh, what other risk factors are there which we will discuss and we, we have assessed our patients on the basis of this. So, uh, as you know the background uh, that coronary artery disease, these are one of the uh, major killers uh, in the world and Pakistani population is also uh, not less affected and especially South Asians, these are uh, at higher risk as compared to other regions that may be because of uh, our diet, that's one of the possibilities. And according to WHO, uh, Pakistani population, uh, in Pakistani population, uh, that was 2018's profile, the prevalence of the disease was around about 30% in our Pakistani population. And according to another study that we conducted uh, last year, uh, and the results have come in last month, about 12% uh, of the cases of the patients who present with MI, these are less than 40 years. So keeping in this, th these things in mind, then we try to uh, formulate certain formula, uh, s s certain uh, uh, clues that are on the basis of which we can assess our patients who are without any coronary artery disease. So basically these are the patients in which there is no heart attack, there's no history of heart attack. These are the patients who only have family history of coronary artery disease. These are the patients who only have hypertension, or these are diabetics, or these have certain, uh, you know, uh, the parameters of the, uh, their lipid profile deranged. So we conducted our study on these patients. So what's the rationale of and objective of the study? Because we know that there are certain uh, uh, formula upon, on the basis of which we can assess the risk factor of coronary artery disease in certain population. But these formula have not been tested, or uh, these have not been formulated on the basis of our population. So how can we formulate, how can we assess the risk in our, uh, our uh, population? So we have uh, carried out this study. So we have com combined actually uh, two formula. Uh, there, uh, one is called Astrocharm, which uh, uh, tells us about the risk of myocardial infarction, risk of heart attack, risk of stroke, in the, uh, in the coming 10 years. And other uh, uh, formula is actually uh, ASCVD, uh, the uh, pool cohort equation. That also tells us about the uh, risk factors, about the uh, chances of having MI or stroke or death in the coming, uh, coming 10 years. So we have applied these two formula on our patients. So we have uh, 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 recruited about 335 patients <coughs> from in our tertiary care hospital. And we have screened these patients regarding their, their uh, clinical features and we have carried out certain tests on these patients so to know the risk. Because we have carried out, the reason that we have carried out this study in Karachi, because you know the Karachi has the, is the largest city in the country and uh, 
it has a uh, uh, heterogeneous population that will represent the all four provinces. So that's why we have carried out this study to, 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 risk, uh, to assess the risk of patients in, in Pakistani population. So uh, this is one of the formula that we have applied in our patient, that's AstroCharm. You can see that on the basis of this, we actually do CT and geography of these patients to uh, assess the uh, uh, coronary calcium the arteries of the heart, <coughs> we assess the uh, level of calcium in these patients. Then we, we other clinical, uh, clinical factors like gender of the patient, age of the patient, race of the patient, cholesterol level, blood pressure, and other history, whether he is diabetic or not, whether he is a current smoker or not, is there any family history or not. So this is one formula, and the other formula is also sim almost similar to that, but there, there are minor differences. So we have applied both these to compare the risk of coronary artery disease in, in our population, then we have compared this risk to the global population. So when uh, we risk stratified our patients on the basis of uh, calcium scoring, uh, so uh, our, uh, our patients, in our patients we have divided these to having no risk on the basis of their calcium score and uh, whether these have high risk or have medium risk. So that's based upon the calcium score. So, if you look at this, about 335 patients, these, out of these 53 patients were male and about 47 patients were female and uh, upon the basis of mother tongue you can also see the distribution uh, among the patients, upon these subjects. And about 45% of patients were having hypertension and uh, family history of heart attacks were presented in around about 30% of patients and diabetics and currently smokers were around about 10 to 15%. So if we compare this risk, risk profile of our patients to the global, to the patients of the world, so you see that the patients of Pakistan, the uh, male, our male patients in a, in a, uh, till the age of 40 years, these have less risk as compared to uh, global patients. But as with age, the risk in our patients increases. And our patients, more of our patients are having hypertension, more of our general population is having hypertension, and more of our patients are diabetic as compared to the uh, global uh, public, and more of our patients have their systolic blood pressures raised. In the same way, uh, our patients are having our, the, the um, subjects in which we conducted our study, uh, these are, most of them were having uh, raised cholesterol. And if we compare the uh, mean RT calcium in these patients, in case of males and females, males mostly have a raised calcium score. In the same way, if you, uh, if you try to know the risk of having 10 years, risk of having myocardial infarction or a stroke, about this, this thing is uh, exactly, it's more in, in case of uh, uh, females uh, as compared to the males. And most of our patients have risk factor of, uh, actually when we uh, assess the risk, so we, we try to decide that a certain person is having how much risk of uh, having coronary artery disease in the next 10 years. So we decide whether it is less than 5, 5 to 7 percent or 7 to 20 percent or more than 20 percent. So if we look at the risk profile of our patients, most of our patients, if you look at the females, these have uh, less risk as compared to the males. But overall, overall, males have more risk, that's 7.5%, more than 7.5% as compared to females. And the other formula, this was the uh, pool cohort equation, and if you apply the other formula, that's the astrocharm, in the same way, our males have more risk as compared to the females. And if you compare both of the astrocharm and uh, uh, pool cohort, we'll see that pool cohort uh, as compared to astrocharm, risk stratifies is 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 our patients more accurately as, ca as compared to the, its counterpart. And in the same way, we, we have conducted another study in 2017 and 2016 and 17 that also showed that most of our patients uh, in, in male and uh, in females, m male patients have more risk of uh, developing coronary artery disease as compared to female patients. And there are also other studies which are conduct out in, conducted in India and other parts of the world. So what's the conclu uh, conclusion? 
So conclusion, uh, as we know, as compared to uh, rest of the world, our our normal subjects have more risk of developing coronary artery disease. And male patients or male subjects with no history of coronary artery disease, definitely these also have increased risk of developing heart attacks or stroke as compared to uh, females. And limitations of our study because uh, limited patients were uh, enrolled in this study. And uh, we have covered only one city, so definitely to uh, uh, you know, to uh, like uh, confirm our results, a larger study population is needed. And our this uh, uh, definitely study has been accepted as post representation in the upcoming ACC Middle East that will be uh, in October. That's all. So, any questions from your side? Basically, it was uh, not to tell you. Uh, any numbers, it was not to tell you about the uh, cholesterol that kills somebody. It was to tell you that what we have studied, what we have studied, the result shows that our population is at higher risk of coronary artery disease, at higher risk of heart attack, as higher risk of stroke, as higher risk of death as compared to the rest of the world. So that can be because of our diet, that can be uh, because of uh, other habits are there's lack of exercise. So all these factors are involved that put us at higher risk of coronary artery disease. So definitely we have to convey this message at the population level and we have to definitely change, modify, we should bring a life modification in our own uh, you know, uh, habits and also for, uh, we should convey all this to our patients and to the population and community. That's all.